Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, not much new uh, information here on this chart. Um, the only thing is that I've changed is that I've shown now the roadmap to the lower support region, which should see us in the sort of 82K region next once this rally is over and we're in the very, very late stages. I think we could still push a little bit higher. We're still printing higher highs and higher lows, but I think we are in the very late stages. It just looks extremely choppy. Um, now, as long as we're still forming higher highs and higher lows, there's no reason to fight this trend. I'm not suggesting to be short or anything. I'm not bearish, but the risk is high here. Okay, and that is, um, we talk about the daily chart every single day and tomorrow we'll do that again. And if you watched my previous videos about the daily chart, then you know, and I've specifically highlighted this in one of the updates to our gold members, um, just like, I don't know, half an hour ago, you know, nobody should be surprised if we get this larger correction, you know, it's, it's expected, okay? So what I mean with larger correction, well, in the first instance, probably a dip into this support area, maybe even the lower one, okay? And these are the ones that I'm tracking on the daily chart. I might need to adjust this, no, not really, roughly correct still. Um, we can refine that when we have a top. But we have one support area, which is located between 82K and 76K, right? So again, once this rally is over, this is a third wave. The expectation would be for a fourth wave to develop. And we talk about a dip of around like, I don't know, 11, 11, yeah, 11, um, 11 to maybe 17, 18%, okay? Maybe that's quite deep for this wave four of this wave degree, but sort of, um, yeah high 70 to, to 82k range here shouldn't surprise anyone moreover i'm not sure if it's the blue count it could be the white count which can send us into the 70k region yeah so if we talk about maybe the mid 70k or even 70k uh, region then we're talking about like 25 percent so that is not a short trade setup but i'm saying it shouldn't surprise anybody if we finally find ourselves if we find ourselves there that is precisely what the wave count is telling us right so i don't want to see anybody complain or be shocked or something right that's that's what the wave count is showing us and that's what we've been talking about over the last one or two weeks once this rally is over and we need at least a break below support to indicate that, well, then we are likely seeing a wave four correction and that could be a substantial dip. Uh, if it's in eventually going to turn into some kind of a sideways correction like this, yeah, we don't know yet, right? That would be good for the altcoins, but still there could be this initial dip, maybe even if it's the white wave count, which is a larger degree wave four, then even lower. So that's just what I wanted to remind everybody of um, as we are just navigating this choppy structure higher. This is certainly not strong momentum. It's not very convincing price section. I'd like to see it get to 95K, but what are we talking about? I mean, it's in spitting distance already. We reached 94K. I mean, it's um, we're pretty much there, right? 94, 95, uh, that's, that's really nothing in the crypto space. And maybe we could even get still to 97K. I mean, if it's the blue count, and that's still what I would like to see, actually. But, you know, it's choppy. Uh, it's fragile. Then, um, yeah, this could take us to 95 to 97K next. OK, so for me, the first support region that we have here available is the 87.7 to 89.8K area. However, I have to say, if this really is the count higher, the price should not break anymore below this last swing low here at 89.4K or let's rather say sort of 88.8K. I mean, a break below that is the first confirmation we're breaking down. Better confirmation would be a break below the Tuesday 12th of November low at 85K, and then it could send us down uh, in this C wave, and then we can track this wave four, and we have to see if the market then reacts to this support area, if the buyers come in. If not, then we might be in the larger wave four. So this is sort of the risk at the moment, like I would say, uh, a realistic uh, understanding of risk means like 25% drop, but there is a chance here around maybe, I don't know, 11 to 18% to that the buyers will come in here. But for now, I'm not saying this has started. Um, it could have, but I need, I, I, I'm still, we're still printing higher highs and higher lows. So I would want to see at least sort of, you know, lower lows, lower highs to start with to get an idea that we've topped. At the moment, all I can say the risk is high. Uh, on the smaller time frame here. 
as we are already nearly done with our wave count to the upside, we are um, seeing very fragile and choppy structures. It is too early to say we've topped, but yeah, it's not, you know, it's, it's just overlapping. It could easily even be a B wave here, but I would want to see minimally a break below like 89.4K for a first indication we've topped. That's still early, so better would be a move below 88 point, yeah. Here that, that, that swing low from Sunday, actually it's around 88,750. And then for a bit more confirmation, 85K. Um, those are the three levels that, that need to be broken in order to suggest really we're moving down. I mean, best indication is a five wave move down followed by a three wave corrective rally, a lower high, but we're still printing higher highs and higher lows. So this could easily be a diagonal pattern. Obviously, if you're familiar with Elliott Wave, you know that diagonal patterns are not easy. They are not easy to trade because they could easily be a corrective rally. And again, this is just a three wave move up so far. Could simply be a B wave, which can send us down in wave C. Um, so all I can say at the moment, the risk is high, but we need some levels broken to indicate that this dip um, is starting. And then best I can tell, one more high in wave five, then another wave four, then another wave five. And whether we whether we first go down, go up, then another dip and then go higher, or it's, fur it's already the larger wave four in white, the next rally could send us then into the 100K region, 110, 120, maybe even 130K or so. We will obviously stay focused on the microstructure for the latest, um, for the latest movements, basically, yeah? latest adjustments, targets, and so on. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.